Hello, Adolfo from Portainer here. I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy Portainer on Azure using the Azure Kubernetes Services, or AKS. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to create a resource group. So we can have more control of this uh, deployment. I'm going to call it Portainer AKS Demo. And I'm going to use ECUS as uh, the preferred region, but then that's up to you. You have to pick the one that suits you better. Uh, review and create and create. And there it is, Portainer AKS Demo. And now I'm going to open the Kubernetes services in Azure and create a new Kubernetes cluster. So I'm going to add this Kubernetes cluster using this uh, resource group we just created. Let's call it Portainer AKS Demo. And everything else will be just standard. I'm not going to change anything here. Let's click on create as soon as the button is available. It should be soon. There you go, create. And this takes anything between four to seven minutes. So um, I'm going to fast forward the video. Okay, so our cluster is deployed. Let's go to the resource and um, check it out. Let's go to the node pools. Yeah, three nodes. Everything's all right. So now um, I'm going to deploy Portainer. And for that, we can open the Cloud Shell. And uh, the first thing we want to do is to download the credentials so we can use the kubectl tool to manage the nodes. So um, I type in this com this uh, set of commands, az, aks, get credentials, the, re the name of the resource, the name of the cluster. And what this does is that it writes the credentials on the config file under the .cube folder. So with this, we can manage the node. So for instance, kubectl get nodes to show me all the three nodes that are running. Um, and there you go. Yep. Second thing to do is to add the Portainer repository with Helm. So we do the Helm repo add Portainer and the Portainer link. Let's update our repository with Helm. And finally, we start deploying Portainer. First thing we want to do is to reserve a namespace for Portainer. So with kubectl, we create a namespace called Portainer. And with Helm, we install Portainer. So all these commands will be in the description of the video. Also, you don't need to write this down. It's actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, five commands. It's, it's um, very simple. So the last thing that I do here is I copy these two lines and run them in the shell. This will give me the IP address and the port where Portainer was deployed. So let's copy this and open it in a new tab. And soon enough, we will see Portainer's interface. And there we go. Um, so let's finish uh, configuring the Portainer. The first step is to create the initial administrative user. I like to change this. I like to change the default admin username to Joe or whatever name, but that's entirely up to you. Um, put in a password twice. 
create the user. No, I don't want to do this. Oh. Then let's connect the Kubernetes environment to Portainer just by clicking on connect. That's the second step. And the third and last step is to configure the Kubernetes features on Portainer. So for Azure, we might want to include the Ingress controller. Um, and in this case for Azure, it's Nginx. Um, at least that's the one I, I, I use. And configure the storage options. There's a there's a page on um, the app Microsoft documentation for Azure that explains the differences, and this is very important, between the storage classes. So default is the standard SSD storage, managed premium is an Azure premium storage, the Azure file is an Azure standard storage um, that creates an Azure file share, and the Azure file premium, just like the Azure file, uses the Azure premium storage uh, to create an Azure file share. So make sure you select the one that best suits you. I, in this case, I would set Azure file, which is more than enough. Uh, in this case, in my case at least, and click on Save Configuration. And there we go. We can see our endpoint with our cluster represented with the respective total hardware. If I click on the endpoint and go to Cluster, on the left-hand side of the Portainer menu, we see our three nodes here, just like the ones we saw previously when we typed in the kubectl get nodes and there we go so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much